Hello! Welcome to Adventures in Pop-Ups. I am Rachel. This is the place where you come for tips and tricks, hacks and mods, campsite reviews, and today we are making over the camper still some more. Today is the first installment of curtains. I'm so excited to show you the awesome curtains that we have redone. These are both photo fabric curtains, kind of like how this is a mural with actual photo on fabric. We're doing it to our curtains. So without further ado, let's check it out. So for the first curtain, let's talk about our privacy curtain. This is so cool. I have now installed a fireplace. Um, we put out the regular privacy curtain. I took it down, I laid it out, and I put the new one on top of it. I did order the right size, yes. I had to convert some centimeters, Google helped me, and it was a win. It fits great. It's a funky shape because it goes over the dinette on one side and goes over the counter on the other side, so I cut the corners out and I pinned it all up. You know, I did on the places that had a raw edge showing, I folded it under so there's no raw edges showing, but I was able to use the original um, seams that already came on the curtain in the first place. So that was easy. Pinned it on, left the netting so that air can flow above our heads, and it turned out great. I really like it. I think it's gonna look great in the camper. The camper is sleeping under the snow, so hopefully it'll warm up a little more here soon and we can pop it up and see what it's really starting to look like. The second batch of curtains that we're gonna talk about today is a mountain scene that I decided to put on the bunk ends. Hey there, working on the bunk end curtains and we have a few snags to work out. Uh, first of all, the colors aren't quite, I thought they were gonna be more vivid from ordering online. You know, it's, sometimes it's not quite what you thought it was gonna be. I still like it. Also, I thought it was gonna be more fabric-y. This is like one of those waterproof kind of fabrics, so I hope it's okay to sew with. I think we're gonna be okay, but the biggest issue right now is my measuring. In my defense, it was in centimeters. I ordered off of Wish, and I don't know. I don't know what happened, but um, the width. We're missing like a foot off of each curtain, basically. If you can see, this is the top half for one bunk end. And then I think for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and sew them up as is and leave the brown on the ends. And then um, maybe we'll cut them skinnier. Maybe I'll add other fabric from the rest of the curtains to just kind of match. I'll just have to keep thinking about it. I'll let you know when I figure out. If you have a better idea, let me know. Um, let's try this out. Okay, so I just want to show you a few more details on this. What I did, I sewed it right on top of the original, did a little hemmed edge. I did the top first. I stopped, I pinned, I stopped. I like I took my time because I didn't want it shifting. It's a little rubbery on the back, it's a little slick on the top, so I was patient as I could be, and I think it turned out pretty well. I did the top seam, and then I then I did the middle seams where they need to meet perfect in the middle. And then last I did the bottoms because if you haven't looked very closely at your camper curtains, they're not straight. It is a little goofy and maybe that's because they use that fishing line stuff. I don't know, but make some leeway, have a little extra space in case your lines move on you. But so far, so good. 
Okay, so this is actually the bottom half of what was the other bunk end. And I left it as one big strip because I'm very seriously thinking about leaving it in one big strip. We don't need a whole curtain on the other side because we have a bathroom with walls. The shepherd's hook is going to be in the way of making one huge curtain. We can't really pass the middle. So we're going to have to maybe put part of a curtain on the back side of this and then just hook it when we want to close it all the way. This is actually a reflection image off of the original. So it was upside down. So I just rotated the whole thing. And if you look really closely, you can tell that there's like river rocks in there. But other than that, I think it looks great. And honestly, if somebody notices, uh, we'll give them a s'more for a prize. <laughs> this is turning out great. Thank you for watching our update on our curtains. I can't wait to see how this turns out. Thank you for supporting our channel and Happy camping.